Got your hair dead. Damn thing all crooked, so I'll just make it extra crooked. Metalhead whiskey snob koozie. <laughs> For us bitches that have to have chasers and drinking whiskey. Get yours today. <laughs> that's, a, that's a strange selling point, but it just might work. <laughs> All right, man. God damn. What is going on, everybody? Today we have something really special. It is Uncle Nearest Single Barrel. This is the first time they've ever released it. Oh, Mr. Fish here. Took a quick trip over, quick trip over to Tennessee recently, and picked it up straight from the distillery. It's the only place you can get it, and we're gonna review it today. Yeah, they said you could. Uh, they just came out on Black Friday. Hell yeah, man! So we're very lucky to have this bottle. Uh, we do like the regular Uncle Nearest product, so definitely excited to give this a try. Let's pop the cork. Find the damn seal. It's childproof. <laughs> You know, it's got me beat then. Cue elevator music. <laughs> Man, I got this on extra tight, don't they? They knew people was gonna be traveling. All right, here we go. Yeah, a little smoke. Yeah, a little smoky action. Cool, man. I'm excited for this one, dude. Yum yum. It's nice and syrupy going in the glass. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, man. So how was the distillery, dude? Tell us a little bit about it while we're letting this settle for a moment. It just look like a barn. Really? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, they didn't really don't have the distillery there. Okay. So from what they were saying, it is a sourced whiskey, but it is their mash bill. Okay. Nice, uh, man. Oh yeah, dude. They are in the process of building their own still on site, but other than that, just like a big barn with a barbecue joint. <laughs> can't can't have good whiskey without good food to go along with it. And they do they do do uh, they do do <laughs> they do do tours. I didn't take the tour, but I did do the tasting. Oh yeah, man. So I got to taste all five products. <laughs> Leave there with a more than a slight buzz, I'm sure. Just a little. All right, let's get this on the nose, dude. I'm excited. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you smell like that. That is a sweet Tennessee whiskey. Call it a Tennessee whiskey because technically it's not a bourbon, even though it's. <laughs> I'd say this hold up to most bourbons on the nose, at least. Mm. A lot of burnt, like brown sugar and caramel. Yes. It's another note in there though. It's almost like a like a like a cocoa spice or something. Definitely get that oak. Mm. I'm ready to get that. Right. Right. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Hell yeah. Oh, that is pleasant, dude. What? <laughs> yeah, that's really really good, man. A lot of people tend to shy away from the Tennessee whiskeys for some reason. I mean, I know it's the Lincoln County process added to it, but in all honesty, man, it still holds up to almost any bourbon, in my opinion. It's absolutely wonderful on the mouth. Nice and thick, coats, your, coats the inside of your mouth. Very but, peppery. Yeah, it's a little spicy, but there's there's some good amounts of vanilla and honey in there too, man. I'm, I'm definitely digging that one. So in Kentucky, if they call it a Kentucky hood, what do they call it in Tennessee? <laughs> a Tennessee tickle? Something. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> that should be good. That is wonderful. Look at the lacing on that glass, too, man. Oh. I'm gonna get more like a little bit of a cherry cola or something in there too. That is wonderful. So yeah, man. Uncle Nearest out of Shelbyville, Tennessee. I believe the big three are all there in Tennessee in the in the same region, Jack. And uh, George Dickel, and of course, Old Uncle Nearest. Yeah, they're all about 20 minutes apart from each yeah. other. So, yes, I did hit all three. They got them right. And I do believe we have another special bottle to review very, very soon from the Dickel Distillery. We'll keep an eye out for that one because that's also an extremely 
very rare, hard to find bottle. That's good, man. Got a little vanilla. Small hints of honey. Hey, that's, dude, this is probably one of the one of the best cracks we've had in a minute. Mm -hmm. I do this one high marks. There's definitely something in there. I get that oaky flavor too. Not mad about it one bit. Apparently, this is supposed to be on the shelf next year, but uh, for right now, it's the distillery release only. So, again, super lucky to have this. I highly recommend it if you're out there in Tennessee and you're a, a whiskey or a bourbon lover. Go pick yourself up a bottle of this. I think it was around, what, 70 bucks? 70, 75, yeah. So right around that sweet spot for a real good bottle of uh, single barrel bourbon. That's it for today's episode, man. I give this yeah, one just quick with two two horns up for me, oh, dude. Definitely two horns. Hell up. yeah! The last sip, down we go. Cheers. Yeah, right, I mean. Hell yeah! Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, keep an eye out for future episodes. Cheers, everyone. We have ghosts in here, so we gotta kick a ghost ass to get the fuck out. <laughs>